Hi, I'm Brooke Partridge, and I run VitaWave Consulting. We're a strategy consulting firm focused on helping technology companies grow their revenue in emerging markets. We had grown really quickly in 2008, and we were prepared for more growth when the bottom of the economy fell out. And at that point, we had gotten to a structure where smaller projects were really a lot less profitable for us to do. Uh, in fact, a lot of small projects were unprofitable, and uh, yet those were the only uh, contracts that were coming through at that point, smaller projects, and we had to figure out a way to survive the economic crisis and do our business differently, being profitable on um, a lot less revenue and smaller contract sizes. Job number one was to cut operating costs, and like everyone else, it was inevitable for us to do layoffs. Um, we cut deep and fast and projected that the market was not going to turn around for at least a year. I think most small businesses tend to hire people uh, that they know and they trust. And that usually means that personal relationships come along with those uh, employees. So in my case, I ended up laying off three long-term friends. Uh, the employees that were left also took a large pay cut. Uh, and, um, and then we made some dramatic cuts in our overall operating costs. We reduced all of our expenses by 20 to 30 percent. We um, have to travel to some degree to see clients, but that was the only travel that we had. Everything else was done virtually. Another big step we made, because we're a global organization and um, we're spread pretty thinly around the world, uh, we were able to get rid of our physical office space and switch to a model of sort of daily rental space for offices. And it's turned out to work extremely well for us. Um, we can go anywhere in the world with this company that we've chosen and have really professional office space uh, on any given day when we need it. And it's actually cut our operating costs by three quarters in terms of our, our office expenses. Of course, we had to hunker down and close as much business as humanly possible. We took in any kind of project we could close uh, of any size because the smaller contracts did add up uh, and allowed us to, to survive. But most importantly, we changed our operating model. So, of course, we had operations people and um, people focused on activities that were more overhead as opposed to contributing directly to projects previous to the economic crisis, and that all changed. We had to rethink everybody's role and everyone was contributing to projects so that they became a variable cost instead of an overhead cost. And uh, that helped a lot in terms of keeping more of the money uh, inside the business rather than having to contract out parts of our project execution. One of the less tangible challenges during the economic crisis has been maintaining employee morale. Job number one after the layoffs was to psychologically rehire all the people that were left to make sure they had a sense of purpose and hope that, that we had a plan for getting through this difficult time and um, to bring spirits back up and create unity in the team after we had essentially torn part of the team apart. So um, I stayed in close touch with everyone. We did a reset, had team meetings, um, and I also worked real closely with the other managers in the company to make sure they were the, doing the same with their direct employees. It was clear, actually, that our services were still very compelling to our clients. We actually closed more POs in 2009 than we did in any other year. It's just that the size of the POs were much smaller. So we found the right operating model to get through the difficult times, and I sure wouldn't want to go through it again, but having done so, we're leaner, we're more efficient, and um, actually we're better positioned to take advantage as the market is on the uptick.